Uh, I spent my first 20 years at Royal Dutch Shell, uh, mostly domestic, uh, but also international, uh, and then landed back here in Houston in November of 19 as the CFO of Lion Del Bazel. So super excited to be back here in my hometown at a big, big, successful global company. So we did over $40 billion of revenue last year, 20,000 people across the globe, uh, sales in over 100 markets. And, and we bring products that make everyday living better for people across the globe. Now, what are LYB's priorities for the remainder of this year? So that's a great, great question. Um, so the company uh, outlined a new strategy last year, and the strategy has three pillars. The first pillar is grow and upgrade the core. And we've been very active in that regards in, uh, around our portfolio. Uh, we've disposed of a number of assets and actually just today announced the closure of an acquisition in Saudi Arabia. Uh, and so again, very, very active around our, our portfolio, um, growing and upgrading our core. Also, we put a big stake in the ground around circularity and low carbon solutions. So we put a goal to deliver a billion dollars of incremental EBITDA by 2030 from this new business. And this new business is taking plastic waste and turning it back into new products and solutions for our customers across the globe. Uh, and then thirdly, uh, the, the third pillar of our strategy uh, is around upping our performance and, and culture. And in part of that, we have what's called our value enhancement program, where we have a, a variety of activities a, across the company uh, that are executing on ideas that are coming up from our plant floors. Again, we've put out a big target there to deliver a billion dollars, up to a billion dollars of incremental EBITDA. Michael, how is LYB different from other chemical companies? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I'd, I'd probably say one thing is that uh, we are a commodities chemical company uh, and we're really good operators and we know how to navigate cycles. Uh, and we're in a tough cycle right now, but despite that, we are still delivering resilient earnings and significant free cash flow uh, to, to our shareholders. Um, we also have a unique and advantage asset portfolio uh, and global reach that gives us an advantage versus our competitors as well. And then we're recognized for being really sophisticated and good stewards of capital allocation, including returning a significant amount of cash to our shareholders in the forms of, of dividends and share buybacks. How is Texas important to your business? Well, listen, uh, this, is, this is my hometown. Um, this is the, the headquarters uh, for, for Lion Del Bazel. Uh, Texas has um, a great uh, employment base, so it's, it's a great place for employees, and it's a great place to do business, and it's a great place to grow. Michael, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. It's been great to talk to you as well, Judy. Thank you so much.